NIC teaming or network interface controller teaming allows users to group two or more physical NICs into a single logical network device called a bound. Once a logical NIC is configured, the machine is not aware of the underlying physical NICs. The NIC teaming therefore increases the load balancing and fault tolerance as it combines multiple network connections, also known as ports, into a single unit within a team. Let's look at how we can configure NIC teaming on our Windows Server 2022. Open your server manager and navigate to local server. The first requirement for NIC teaming is that you have to have multiple network interface controllers connected to your device. On this server, I have seven network controllers connected. We have LAN segment and then two internet one through two internet six. I have conveniently labeled this way so that I know what NIC is connected to what network. What I mean by that is if I click on one of our NICs, it will open up our control panel. And in here, control panel network connection section, I have labeled our internal network as LAN segment and any other NICs facing externally as two internet and I label them one through six. This is because when you are creating a NIC team, you should only combine interfaces that are facing the same network. In other words, combining internal NIC with the external NIC is not advisable. As such, I have made sure our two internet NICs from one, two, three, four, five, six are all configured exactly the same way and they are facing externally. So for example, if I double click on this one, it shows me that it has a one gigabyte per second connection speed. In NIC teaming, you could have different network interfaces with different speeds, but in my situation, I have all of them set to one gigabyte per second network speeds, and all of them are connected to the outside network here. This one, have static IP address and it is also have one gigabyte per second network speed, but it is assigned an internal IP address and connected to the internal side of my network. So that's the first thing we need to do. We need to make sure we are able to separate external facing from internal facing NICs or separate NICs connected to a one network from another. So let's close our network connection section on our control panel. And on our server manager, under NIC teaming, it shows currently it is disabled. So let's click on this link and it will open the NIC teaming console. On this console, on the bottom right hand corner under network adapters, we see all our NICs showing up here because I have conveniently labeled them, those label also shows up here as well. So it says net internet two, for example. And if I go into team interfaces, currently there are no NIC teams available. So let's go ahead and configure a team. To do that, open the task options here, select new team, and in here, I'm going to label my team as to two internet team. And then I need to select which interfaces will be part of this configuration. I can either select all of the available interfaces or select the ones that I would like to use. So in this situation, I don't want my internal network connection to be combined with the external connection. So I'm going to select my two internet uh, you know, in configuration options. So I'm just going to select the NICs that say to internet. So I'm going to select one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice that all of these NICs still have one gigabyte per second speeds. So let's see what happened when we combine them uh, together as a one single unit. Another thing I want to point out, if I move this item a little bit higher up and open the additional options section here, 
There are a couple of additional configurations we can do with Nick Teams. One of them called the Teaming Mode. So if I open the Teaming Mode uh, drop down menu, we have Static Teaming, Switch Independent, and LACP. So I will give you a brief introduction of what they are so that you have a better understanding of what configuration options you have. Switch independent is basically a method which allow teaming the of multiple connections on non-stack switches. In other words, the switch independent mode is the only teaming mode that allow you to configure teaming without configuring any changes on the physical switch itself. In other words, if you choose switch independent, you don't need to change any configurations on your switches at all. This is the only option that I recommend that you use on virtual machines because this will allow you to still create a team without messing up your switches at the other end of your virtual environment. The static teaming option basically converts ports into a link aggregation group also known as a lag and this will result in server splitting the traffic between active team links. You should only use static teaming if you don't have the support for LACP. Why? Because LACP teaming is similar to static teaming but it is also tracks each active cable in the link for intended lag and therefore LACP will make switch aware that we are using NIC teaming. In either case, we can't use static teaming or LACP in a virtual environment because that require the switch configurations to be changed. So we will be going with the switch independent option under the teaming mode. Under the load balancing mode, we have dynamic, address hash, and Hyper-V port. The address hash mode will attempt to use the source and destination IP address and the ports to create an effective balance between the team members. This is the option that you must pick when your Windows server is in a virtual environment. So I will be picking address hash as opposed to dynamic because I am inside a virtual environment. The Hyper-V on the other hand, as his name suggests, is specifically used for Hyper-V virtual machines while the dynamic mode uses the best feature between the address hash and the Hyper-V uh, uh, port options. So you can either use the dynamic or address hash in a virtual environment, technically speaking, because the dynamic will always switch to the address hash in virtual environment. But because I know I'm in a virtual environment, I will be picking address hash for the load balancing mode. In terms of standby adapter, you can select an adapter to be the standby and only become active when another adapter fails. Typically, I won't do that. I would just keep it on all adapters active. But if your organizations require you to have a standby adapter, you can pick one of your adapters to be the standby mode. So for now, I'm going to select all uh, adapters to be part of this team. Then we also have some primary team interface uh, configurations you can change here. For example, we can specify VLANs right here by selecting that option, or we can just keep it as default. For now, in terms of VLAN membership, I don't have any VLAN requirement. So therefore, I will keep it in default. But if you have a VLAN requirement, that's how you change it under the primary team interface. So I'm going to click OK here and then click OK. What this is going to do is going to go ahead and start creating that team. And once it's created, you're probably going to get a warning sign saying that only few or one uh, team uh, connected NIC is active. That is because it's going to take a few minutes or few seconds for your server to keep all of these items and put them into the team. So give your server a little time. So after a few seconds, you saw that the screen changed and this got refreshed and we have all the uh, connections now showing as active. So let's keep this 
uh, going and it's we have we see this thing uh, happening and we let's go back to our server manager and click open our uh, network connections options in our control panel notice you have a new connection called to internet underscore team because that is what we name this particular team internet underscore team and it is up and running so if you go back to here uh, uh, to the uh, control panel network connections if i double click on to the internet it shows six gigabyte per second network speed so why is that the reason for that is each of these network card is one gigabyte per second so six times one gigabyte per second would give us a six gigabyte per second and if you look at our nick teaming window or console you see all of these network connections are up and therefore we have the speed up to six gigabyte per second so let's go back to our control panel and I'm gonna make this thing a little bit smaller like this so it's easy for us to see all the items here and if I pick any of these network interface cards and simulate a failure for example let's fail this uh, internet to internet 3 by right clicking it and disabling it notice our speed drops to 5 gigabyte per second and right here on the NIC teaming interface it's showing that the to internet 3 card has failed and I can fail another one for example to internet 4 and it will drop our speed to now 4 gigabyte per second here and on our NIC teaming interface window uh, it shows that we have two NICs have failed so this little demonstration shows the fault tolerance of our system even though the speed has been gone down our connection is still going see it's already three minutes going on right so that's what it is doing but if we bring back these network connections you can see as soon as it got enabled the speed now going to jump up from four gigabyte per second back to its original state which is six uh, gigabyte per second once these items come alive as you can see now we are back at six gigabyte per second and all the network interfaces are up also notice if i close these windows and if i go back to our server manager local server now it is showing the nick teaming is enabled and if i click on it it will open up our nick teaming console and it shows all the active items open that's everything for today and if you have any questions about enabling nick teaming and how it works you're more than welcome to reach out to me if you like these type of technical videos please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel it helps a lot and until next time thank you so much and have a nice day